Hey guys, today I am going to talk about the market for Magic the Gathering, where we are and where we are heading. I think the reserve list is very cheap right now. It's been cheap for a while. Uh, we haven't hit bottom. I, I assume that bottom is still away. But it's it's a good, I mean, the prices are really very, very low. And how low can they go? Can they really go much lower? I, I don't think so. Uh, a lot of these reserve list cards, they're still reserve list cards. They're not like Misty Rainforest or a Hollowed Fountain. They're just going to get reprinted to oblivion right like i'm talking about cradles and taigas and recalls and mox jets and these cards do have serious value and they can continue to go lower and lower and lower and lower and that's kind of the amazing part about uh, magic the gathering right now it's you know survival of the fittest judge promo at 780 i have not seen that card come up at all it's a unique piece of artwork. It's beautiful. It's obviously reserveless. And it's a foil, reserveless judge foil. And Guru Island for $715. That's interesting. $715. Guru Island. Force Negation, $29. Uh, recall at $2,880. Foothills at $15. Anointed Possession. Yeah, I mean, intuition at 100 flat. These are really, really good prices if somebody is willing to sell them to you at these. And it's not just the bad cards anymore. Like, you would have to buy all these kind of janky cards just to get uh, a few alpha and beta. No, the majority of cards that people want to sell to you, intuition, judge foil, yikes, $575. Now that's a card. <laughs> that's a card. Um, any anytime these cards hit the market, like you realize that they're not going to last very long. Even though the market is weak, Lake of the Dead, fifty one dollars, fantastic card. Even though the market is relatively weak, um, it's not going to be weak forever. Maybe a year, maybe two years. Um, the reserve list has always been the reserve list. Oof. Look at some of these cards. But, like, uh, like there's two different cards. Temple Garden, Ravnica Remaster is 850 And then you look at the Gilded Drake at 160 And there's just so much value in non-reprintable cards. Unlimited is on sale, man. Unlimited dual lands are beautiful, by the way. They're just absolutely gorgeous lands. And then you look at Psychonic Rift. It's always kind of been at $19. It's never gone up, never gone down. It just continues to re be reprinted. Alpha, Brain Geyser, Alpha Balance, Lightning Bolt, Beta, $300. I mean, this is stuff that, to be quite frank with you, is quite impressive that it's holding. It's no longer going down anymore. And I'm looking at the buy list. Yeah, it's just holding. Universe Beyond, yikes. Helm of Obedience. That's a good card, $31. Flooded Strand. Um, Expedition. So, okay, $150. I know when Flooded Strand first came out, it was like a... $300, $400 card. Mox Opal, $250. Uh, Diamond Value, $490. And that, that's my point. I should have put more money into these Diamond Valley cards instead of these uh, Masterpieces. Masterpieces have just tanked like oblivion. Man, they have been absolutely decimated. Bayou Unlimited. Unlimited is beautiful. Um, if you have the extra money, Unlimited might... Might be worth the jump to go from Revised to Unlimited right now. I mean, they're such beautiful cards, Unlimited. Uh, Yaga Mayor's Hollow, $39. Wrath of God Alpha, $1,200. $1,200 for Alpha Wrath of God is just crazy low. Oh, and then you got some anime cards. All right. And then Logonis, 
blasphemous act. A dollar. Shedrid. Okay. That's a good one. Anime, Rhystic Study. Yeah, I mean, they can keep animating these cards, but it still pales in comparison to. Underground Sea. Wow, unlimited. $13,120. It gives it over the 400 a free X plus. Wow. I guess unlimited. They're, they're going hard at unlimited. Because I think a lot of it is flooding the market right now. And it's time. Beta, Birds of Paradise. See, I don't know. I would rather have the Beta, Birds of Paradise over the Unlimited Underground Sea. It's just me. Copy Artifact. That's a good one. Reserve List, of course. Tolarian Academy. $65. If it ever receives an unban, of course, it'll go up a lot more. Tefres Protection. Temple Garden. Gauntlet of Might. Frexion Dreadnought, 50 bucks. Not bad, not bad. Kindred Discovery. Thoughtseize, oh. Thoughtseize is 725. That card used to be so mother effing expensive. Ugin's only 1950. I mean, you look at this stuff and it just. Yikes, man. A lot of this stuff is um, not valuable anymore. Rat Colony, $1.35. I need a bunch of those myself. They retail for 4 bucks. Parallel Lives. Anime. IOG Expeditions. Wow, okay. So the Ancient Tomb, it's 210 Making it much more expensive than any of the fetch lands. That's interesting. I'm Manor Vault. Uh, Masterpiece 280. Again, pretty interesting on there. Questing Druid, Volcanic Island. Yeah, so like the type of uh, cards that have gone up are not cards that can be reprinted. They're cards just strict on the reserve list, but even the reserve list took a massive beat down. Ooh, it is, uh, it's tough, man. It's rough out there in these streets, right? Morphic Pool. I mean, a Commander Legend, Baldur's Gate, does have five good lands, right? Renin 6. Oh, man. Renin 6 took a beat down. 1850 only. Card used to be very expensive. Land Tax, Necromancy. Form Bit, Snapcasters, 1050 from Innistrad. Oof. That's low. That's no good. Uninfinity Shocklands are again decimated because there's been another reprinting. Wandering Emperor at 14. Not bad. Pirated copy from Jumpstart. That's not one that I didn't think I would see. I think alpha I think it's alpha and beta. I think you, you want to be alpha beta. Unlimited. Yeah, I think those are what you want to be in. Chrome Mox, Cable Coffers, Force of Negation, Mina, those schools at Water's Edge. Ledger Shredder is only seven bucks now. That's it's pretty bad. Yeah, a lot of the cards are just very, very cheap. Very, very cheap. Blood Moon, 45 bucks. Academy Rector, 36 only. I don't Oh, Smuggler Coppler. Demonic Tutor. Narset's Reversal. War of the Spark. All right. Good on Narset. I, I actually really like that card. That's $5 buy list. That's really, really good for a War of the Spark buy list. Deadly Dispute. $1.35. Mountain. Oh. Mox Opal. Retro. Yikes.